Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on what time zone you're in or what time you're watching this video. And as of the time that this video will be released, actually, uh, as of now, uh, we've reached a thousand subs, everybody. Wow. Um, I can honestly say when this journey started, I wasn't really expecting this. I was just excited to share uh, music with everyone and share experiencing the music with everyone and just to talk to everyone. Uh, but this is, this is, this is crazy. I don't even have the words for it. I want to thank everyone and anyone who's supported so far. And, and just honestly, like you guys have been so awesome. There's so much love in the community. There's so much like camaraderie. I love that. I love it so much. And, I feel like we're a group that is very ready to to share in the human experience, be it the pains, the happiness, the sorrows, whatever it might be, and to talk about anything and everything. And I, I man, oh man, I've always wanted something like this to be possible, and <laughs> seeing it now, man, it's it's amazing. That's that's honestly, there's no words for it. So just just thank you guys for being a part of this journey. Um, could not have absolutely could not have done it without you guys. Um, it's amazing. Uh, but you're not here for me to ramble on senselessly uh, for some time. You're here to check out Ren featuring BB Crutch. Uh, but before we do get started, since we have a thousand people sub now, I was thinking we need a group name. Um, and I'm not sure. If it's appropriate for for me to come up with a group name, so I was kind of hoping to leave it to you guys. Uh, if you think there's an appropriate like community name, please feel free to leave it in the chat, and then uh, we'll make it happen. Because because this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be real fun. Uh, well, without further ado, Ren, BB, Crutch, let's do it. Sorry. Um, something that's really cool about this is like it, this. We start with this visual of flowers, like really thin, almost delicate flowers, and we transition over to what is someone's body. I'm assuming uh, and skin with like hairs. You can see that almost resemble that visual, but that's a parallel, right? Because it's we as as people are fragile. We're delicate in our most vulnerable states, and that's why we're seeing like uh, the someone's spine right clearly this is someone who's not wearing a lot of clothing uh maybe not wearing any clothing i don't know um but ultimately like we're we're delicate creatures and our minds and our hearts can be very easily wilted or 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 just suffer depending on what we're experiencing such a great starting parallel just with visuals alone uh, and just a soft gentle piano right it has this kind of lethargicness to it this almost laziness but it's it's not really laziness it's almost like this this sorrow that we're hearing just this ding 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 and it's just so soft to to accompany those flowers and the skin and just the whole thing together wow i'm gonna go back a bit because i think i heard maybe if i move Maybe my troubles won't follow me I've got none to lose Cause everything turned to dust around me My hope it got so bruised Cause circumstance held me and it drowned me I'm searching for the clue I want to stop because I'm going to lose some of it if I don't say it now, but something that was said was we're trying to move, right? Because we don't want trouble to follow us. And ain't that the truth? It's like once trouble finds you, it's like it just can't seem to let go. It just seems to follow you wherever you are. And that goes back to how to be me, where it follows you through the highs and the lows, right? Um, but also just something that was said, there's circumstance seems to drown me. My God, like isn't that just it it's like these random experiences these moments where you 
where you should have been experiencing joy is it's random circumstance sometimes that seems to find a way to just push you below, just make you feel kind of like you're drowning in, in anguish or sorrow or like whatever it might be. And it's crazy how much of an effect it can have because it lingers and it layers on over time. Um, but something else is kind of cool is we're seeing very vulnerable parts of an individual. We saw the throat, we saw fingertips, we saw the kind of the, the midriff, right? Just so many different areas that are so vulnerable. And this is like almost like this person is exposed, exposed to us, but exposed also to their own pain and their own sorrows. Man. I'm gonna go back just a little bit. In the drown me, I'm searching for the glue to try and fix these broken things around me. Searching for the glue to find try to fix these broken things around me because it just feels like everything's falling apart. It feels like everything is crashing down around us, and the only thing we can do is try to put it back together in the hopes that we can be ourselves again in the hopes that we can feel that happiness again. And so what do you do? You look for the glue that tries to stick it all together. And again, we're getting more shots now. We actually officially see Ren I'm laying in fetal position, no less, just, just bogged down by his emotions and all the things he's experiencing and just curling up to try to kind of bask in whatever little light there seems to be, which there was like this one small uh, light panel here. Uh, which is right next to the flowers too, because that's where we should be growing. Maybe, I don't know, but also there's this fence, right? Because we feel trapped. We feel caged in to this moment, to this experience, and we can't seem to get out of it. And so that's why maybe it's the light. And that's kind of like the light of freedom or like the light that we need to get to, to kind of be out of this darkness. And, and that's what we're reaching out for right now. Like maybe we, we he can't even seem like he's on the floor. Maybe he's trying to like get up. Right, maybe he's trying to kind of make his way there, but because he's so bogged down, he can't. The weight of the world is keeping him just just prone, just on the floor, not able to move. You can actually even see him reaching to the cracks because it's the cracks that make us who we are. It's these cracks in the vulnerabilities in in our in our kind of core being that that end up creating these fissures and these these the they start to open up and everything starts to fall apart and crumble, like we just heard. Jeez, man just it's been, it's it's been a minute into this video and we're already seeing so much like ren how how who like just the whole team is so good is just so good at conveying so much in such little amounts of visuals amounts of 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 like actual song like it's just it's insane it impresses me every single damn time me And there it is, we're reaching, kind of feeling the cracks out. My love, if I lose My mind, I'd be so ashamed if you witnessed I'll try my best for you I'll try my best for you to keep my head, but God, it's slipping. And then he slips quite literally because it's like we just keep feeling like we're making these mistakes, even though we're trying our best for this person. And, and isn't that it? Like sometimes when you you feel like you can't do your best for yourself, you you can you almost feel like you can do even better than your best for other people, right? Like the people you care about, the, pe the loved ones in your life. It's like they are the ones that kind of act as this beacon of light. And maybe that's what's represented by that light is, is we're trying to reach it because we want to do our best for them. And that's what we're seeing here. Because honestly, like we are a social species at the end of the day. Again, that is, uh, it's like my message is basically like, at the end of the day, we need each other, right? We need to love each other. We need to care about each other in order to do our best for not only ourselves, but everyone around us. And that's kind of the message we're getting here is that like, sometimes even when we don't when we can't find the best in ourselves others will help us find it through their eyes and and it's this experience of of being together being unified and and something that's so interesting there is that he said i would be so ashamed if you saw that but you know that those people those loved ones like they don't think like that they're they're like when they're with you they're there for you and they're not there because you're doing well hopefully the people that really matter they're not only there when you're doing well they're there through the dark times 
And they're never going to say they're ashamed of the things that you're experiencing, the pains and the lows, because that's not what it means to be there for someone, right? You're there for them through everything, thick and thin. And just the thought that we have, that intrusive thought in our own mind of, I don't want to embarrass, I don't want to, I don't want you to be embarrassed about me because that's what we think will happen. And it's so not true. That's just that voice in the back of our mind that always talks and, and makes us think the worst things that are possible my god and sorry just to mention now he's trying to get up and trying to move and and part of that is because he's thinking about this other person An unspoken truth. I feel my body dying as the clock keeps ticking and everything I know is painted with a fear that it's all for nothing <sighs> You feel like the end is coming, right? Like you feel like your your time is ticking. And then everything in that moment, everything in that darkness is painted with that fear. It's painted with that 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 dark shade, that lens over your eyes. It's not rose-colored glasses, it's actually darkness-colored glasses where everything feels like it could go wrong. It feels like it is going wrong, and you see the worst parts about yourself and the world that you've built around you, and that's the part that you start to see only and that's when it gets really bad because you're in that dark spot where you need support and you're not always able to be the one to provide it for yourself damn um but nice nice enough ren has gotten up that's he's painted with the fear but he's crying he's so and like could i interrupt if the weight should get too heavy i'll help hold this button I'll walk with you, my love Into the fires of hell If it would ease the burning Just how you hear Like, the now the piano is gone It's just like our heartbeat that we're hearing it. And it's so beautiful Because remember how I was saying is almost that piano sounds almost sad, right? But when that person's there We're just, we're tuned into them, right? And they're not feeling that sadness They're trying to be there to support us So we're feeling their heartbeat that that's the deepest connection you can have to someone is when you hear their heartbeat in that sense. And, and I think this is Vivi who is kind of here supporting Ren saying, I will be there for you. I will always be there for you. I'll walk with you through the fire if that's what it takes, because I'm here for you. Right. And that's now we see her. She kind of initially leaned into Ren, hugged him and he was crying, kind of exposing himself to her, uh, no, not in that way, exposing his most vulnerable kind of sadness and sorrow, his emotions, his mental being to her. And then eventually she actually, this is what leads Ren to reach out. And that's not, that's a choice, right? Like that's very meaningful because it's not only now that that person is there, we can feel them. We start to feel our pain that we can actually release it and try to get through it, work through it. But also on top of that, we're able to now reach out now that we know that person is there for us, right? Whereas maybe before we didn't necessarily want to let them in, but now that they're here, like, let's lean on them, right? Like, let's let them share this burden. My God. And just the light on the other side, now it's shining on them, right? Like, now it's both of them in this one, this one stream of light because they're both going to reach that goal together. That's beautiful. But please don't lose your trust The man I know is brave So don't you dare say you're folding I can be your crush Until we both grow old And the curtains closing And like we, we often when we're upset or we're sad, particularly something uh, when it's something about us, we tend to kind of focus on all the negatives. We, we, we see all the problems in, in us, right? In, in the things that we do. And that's such an interesting language. She says, I, I don't, uh, the words are something along like, don't call yourself scared or cowardice or cowardly. I'm, I have to go back to listen to that, but ultimately, it's saying that you can't, don't put yourself down because that's not you. That's not who you really are. It's just that voice in the back of your mind in the dark times that seems to be creeping up and making you feel that way. And, and this lens that you're seeing everything through, but that's not how it really is. And you need to understand that. And that's sometimes just what we need to hear. And you can see just from the visuals alone, like Ren is crying 
right? He's he's quite clearly talking in this too, and and but you don't hear anything. It's almost like he's having a therapy session. He's getting all of his emotions out that now he can finally see them in front of him. And he's he's presenting them this person who is talking him through it, saying, all those things you're saying about yourself, don't listen to them. That's not who you are. I know who you are. Let's get to where you need to go together, because that's what's really important, is moving through this dark area. And then you're going to see that there is this beautiful light that you can shine over everything that that's around you. And the happinesses and the joys that you've built in your life. My God. Oh, oh, that jump scared the hell out of me. Oh my God. Sorry. That was terrifying. Okay. I was not ready for that. I'm going to, I'm going to go back a second, hopefully not right to when it hits, but my God, the silence into that. And I'm sure that's not, that's not an accident. Uh, because this is probably going to be the experience of like, we, we had that moment of peace with that person, but we're now we're kind of like going into this almost like relapse of like where we're, we, we felt like we could make it, but it's just so heavy and we fall back down, right? Because that's life. Life is about ups and downs and that stuff happens. God damn. So something to that's really a beautiful choice here is like the light when we're in with both of them with Ren and Bibi is this like gentle soft yellow like the sun right but when we're seeing Ren alone and he's going through these moments and and like I was saying like it's a bit of a relapse right it's he's he's going through the medicine cabinet he's kind of trying to like do all this on his own he's going, trying to make it through all this on his own but it's this darker blue, right? It's this it's this faded blue that paints everything in this darkness, and that's what you're seeing. And that's how it feels, and that's what leads you to these decisions and these pains and these sorrows in the moment. And that's what we're seeing. Like, jeez. I give to you every inch of my soul as it bleeds. It's like, even in these moments, like one, even in the moments where I'm bleeding, I will still give myself all of myself to you, including my soul. But on top of that, it's like when it is bleeding, when it is dark, that's when it's most important for me to allow you in because that's how I, that's how I get better. That's how I can find my solace in this storm of darkness and that's what we're seeing here, but also just like the visuals of, of Bibi kind of supporting him and holding him up and kind of helping him take steps slowly and sh slowly but surely through just this pain. What feels like something we couldn't do on our own, finally we're allowed to some kind of just exemption from all that pain for a moment. And it's because of this other person. It's because they're in our life and they give us the support. Like, ah, that's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's unfortunate it's contrasted by such a dark kind of scene with, with what, what is happening in, in I'm assuming the that like that's the, the medicine cabinet in the washroom. It's it's just it's such a crazy parallel. I'm confused and you see this image of Ren kind of screaming because it's like you're confused you're like oh, is this pain not over yet how have I not gotten to the point where I'm back to my full strength where I'm happy where things feel just a little bit lighter why am I still here right um and and just the whole visual of him kind of like you know, drowning himself essentially right that could be metaphorical for actual like for 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 taking his own life or for drowning in his sorrows, in his pains. And then he was like, just, it's so, it's so, so beautiful. Tragically beautiful. I feel like I find myself saying that so often with Ren, but that's just what it is. He's just so good at this. He's so good at conveying such a heavy emotion 
in such a beautiful way that relates to everything everyone has ever felt in these dark moments. Because this is how it feels, right? When you're in that spot where things feel dark, man, like you just, you just, sometimes you just need a hand. Sometimes you just need someone else to be there for you and tell you it's going to be okay because you just can't necessarily see that for yourself. And we have this habit of kind of closing into ourselves, which is what we go back to with the fetal position at the start when we're experiencing those things, because we don't want others to see that we, what do you do every time someone says, Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Or I'm fine. How are you? I like, I rarely hear people honestly say, eh, you know, things could be better. I wish, you know, I wish uh, I, I had been having a better morning. I got into a fight with this person. And I feel really upset about it. You don't hear that kind of thing because we don't, often let people into these exposed parts about ourselves and look at what Ren is doing. This is the beauty of everything that Ren does. He takes the emotions. He takes the parts of ourselves that we don't necessarily want to see. And he's shining a light on it, right? Quite literally in this song, he's shining a light on his own experience, but that in and of itself makes us shine that light introspectively onto ourselves, which is the power of his music. It's the power of his performance. And, uh, and just, to be able to do that so consistently is 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 amazing. It's it's a talent. It's 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 a gift. I don't even. It, it's so hard to explain what it is because it's so powerful. Man, I'm I'm getting a little lost in this, but my God. Oh, I, and this is something I wanted to say too. Is like you see this reflection of yourself in this dark space, and that's what kind of pushes you out of the water because you don't want to be that anymore. You don't want to be that person, so you break the surface trying to get away from that, get away from your sorrows because that's just it's not who you are. That's not. What your life is supposed to feel like. Oh, what the hell? If you lose my, if I lose my mind, would you stay with me? And then we just kind of go behind Ren over the shoulder and all of a sudden she's gone. I she's like, I, I like to think that the choice here is to show who that we can at the end of the day, stand on our own two feet with the help of someone else. And then even after they're gone, we'll still be able to do that. I don't know if that's exactly what's meant here, because it also could be that sometimes those people do disappear. The people, if maybe they aren't the people that we should be keeping in our lives necessarily, that when the dark times come, some people do leave, right? Or maybe it goes even further in that it's just been such a long time that even that person has stepped away. But I think like the important thing here is now Ren is standing on his own two feet, but what hurts so much is his expression. You can even see it right now. He looks confused, right? He's looking like, what, where did you go? What happened? And like, that's, that's exactly it. It's like, if someone leaves you in your darkest moments, you feel hurt, you feel betrayed, you feel confused. It's like, I, I thought we were in this together, right? I thought we were, we were doing this one together. I thought you were here to help and now you're gone. Um, wow, man. I was not expecting that at all. That's it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm not happy with that ending. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really, but like, it's maybe that's it's it's partly my fault because I'm idealizing what I expected, right? And not that sorry, not to say that Ren did something wrong. It's it's almost like this is a this is sometimes the very real experience of having someone there who is your crutch, who maybe doesn't stay there forever. Right. And sometimes they're gone and maybe he lost that person. I don't know what happened, but they're not there at the end. But the, the takeaway is that you can now stand on your own two feet and that's still beautiful, but wow, what a way to, to end that man. I think this, this song kind of exemplifies what I try to kind of like push towards everyone and not in like a, Oh, you got to do it kind of way. Just like the, maybe it's something to consider kind of way of like, we are a social species, right? We are 
experiencing life together. I know I've met, I've said this in a couple of videos, but I cannot tell you how close to my heart this idea is in that we are here for each other. Um, at the end of the day, like we are left with nothing but the feelings, the emotions, the thoughts, the ideas of the people that have gone ahead of us um, or past in that sense. And so it's like, it's so important to spend every day with the people that you love, tell them you love them, spend time with them and support them through everything that you can, because that's just, it's just so, so damn important. You know what I mean? And, and sometimes people are going through things and maybe they aren't going to open up to you right away, but, but that doesn't even matter. As long as you're there, that's important. Right. And, and we need to be there for each other. This is just something that's, it's part of life. We need to be there for each other to experience life to its fullest. And I hope that if you like, I hope that all of you feel like you, we, we have each other obviously, but I hope that you feel like you have someone in your life as well, because like, man, love is so, so important guys. And if you're not feeling it right now, if there's not that feeling for you right now, I promise you it's somewhere, it's there somewhere. You just have to find it. And if it's not like, even if you look here in the community, there's so much love in this community. And that's what I love about the community is we're here for each other. We, we give each other different perspectives. We give each other support. We are able to share our, our feelings, our pains, our sorrows, things that we've experienced, things that we've gone through. And it's so constructive. It's such a healthy place for, for being ourselves and allowing others in to see who that person is. My God, this, this was a beautiful, beautiful song, video, everything. It was just amazing. Um, I can't, I can't stress enough just how impressed I always am by how Ren is able to, to just cater to such a, such a dedicated performance that will carry his emotions to us and, and, and help us kind of work through these things that we're experiencing. And that is just so fantastic. So fantastic. So thank you, Ren. And then thank you all for being amazing individuals who I love because you guys are like the best. I, I, so many people that I've talked to just through the channel and we've, it's just, it's been amazing. Um, my God, I hope let's keep it up and make sure that you, you spend some time telling the people that you care about, that you care about them because Hey, they may need to hear it. Hell, we may need to hear it. So I care about you guys. Um, man, that was crazy. Uh, if, if you liked, uh, what you saw, please feel free to like comment, subscribe. Um, I still can't believe we have a thousand subscribers. Like this guys, our community is going to be amazing. I'm so excited just to see what happens to the community because there's just fantastic people here. And I'm so happy to be going on this journey with all of you. And this is going to be an awesome experience. So make sure that your week is better than your day. Your month is better than your week and your year is better than your month. And I will see you on the next one.